Hey everybody, Brandon Boyd with The Brandon Boyd Show. Thank you so much for watching. This is going to be a fun episode today because I'm going to let you watch me apply for my wife for the American Express Business Gold Card. Now, she currently doesn't have the American Express Business Gold Card, so hopefully this process will be smooth sailing. But as you know, if you've watched this channel long enough, we've been surprised before. Regardless, if she gets approved or denied, this video is going up on the channel. We don't hide anything. We're very transparent because approvals and denials are all part of the process. And anybody that tells you they have a magic bullet to get approved 100% of the time is wrong. It just doesn't happen, okay? If you play the game hard enough and long enough, you will hit a roadblock every now and then but I'm hopeful that this one is going to work out today. Before we get started, if you do find this video helpful or mildly entertaining, don't forget to be awesome. Give me a big thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifications for alerts. And if you're interested in the business gold card or any card for that matter, make sure you apply using the referral link down in the description below. When you apply using that referral link, that greatly helps support the channel. And I can't thank you all enough for doing that. You guys are killing it on it. Keep rocking that referral link. We really appreciate it. Also, I want to mention that I'm using my wife's iPad. She's got stickers all over the back of her iPad. If you put stickers on your iPad cases, let me know too. I thought that was just my wife, but I've seen them on a few other people's. Let me know down in the comments. First of all, why does she want this card? Well, it's pretty simple. She wants the sign-up offer on this, and the reason I'm using her iPad is because the sign-up offer on this card, on her iPad only for some reason, is 85,000 membership rewards with $10,000 spent in the first three months. Now, we looked in private browsing mode, we looked in regular browsing mode, and we were only able to get this offer to come up on her her iPad specifically in non-private browsing mode, just standard browsing mode. So it's really weird. Usually you have to go through private browsing sometimes to get these elevated offers. In this case, it's completely the opposite, which is strange. There's also a 20,000 membership rewards offer for me for referring her. So that's 20,000 for me, 85,000 for her. That's 105,000 membership rewards that we can get in total once she meets the requirements of this sign-up offer. I know what you may be saying. You may be saying, hey, Brandon, wait a minute. I can call into Amex and talk to a rep and possibly get an even higher offer than that. And I would say, you are correct, but here's why I didn't do that. If you'll recall last year, there were a wave of shutdowns and cancellations of accounts from people going through American Express representatives to get these super high elevated offers. I mean, it was a huge wave that came through and I just don't wanna play that game. This offer is already elevated for me. I get a referral offer. It's a safer choice for me and I don't have to risk getting my account shut down because they have proven lately that they will do that. So buyer beware, if you decide to do that, just proceed with caution and understand the risk. Another reason she really likes this card is for the multipliers. Now the way this works is you get four times points on your top two spend categories each billing cycle. And those categories are airfare purchased directly from airlines, advertising purchases, select technology providers or computer hardware, gas stations, restaurants, takeout delivery, and shipping as well. We plan on doing a lot of spend on advertising and either gas or restaurants. We'll see which one that she wants to do each billing cycle. It just depends, I guess. So there are options here when it comes to the four times categories. And I really like that because it's adaptive to your business needs each billing cycle. So that can be very convenient and very helpful if that's something that you think would help your particular business. Now, this video is not meant to be a complete review of the American Express Business Gold. I just wanted to share with you why she wanted this card in particular. So let's get down to the application. Let's hopefully get approved. Fingers crossed. Let's get to it. Okay, so I've got the page pulled up here. I'm going to click the button for apply now. And let's let the magic happen. This is always a little nerve wracking. You know, I've filled out a lot of these and you still get nervous every single time. So I'm gonna hide some of the information on here, uh, personal information, stuff like that. So don't be alarmed if you see boxes put through some of the stuff, but I will tell you what they're asking for. That way you'll know when you're applying for either this card or another business card, you'll have a good idea of what they're gonna ask for. So the first thing that they're asking for is the email address. The legal business name, we just put her name on the card. I do the same thing with my cards. I don't put any other company name on there. I put it all under me. So you can feel free to do that if you want to. It's gonna ask if you have a doing business as name, a DBA, and we're gonna say no on that one. We're gonna put in our address, and we work from home. So we're gonna put in our home address. Don't feel like that you have to have a, a big office building or something like that to apply for one of these cards. You don't need that. Just uh, fill in your home address if you work from home. Business phone number, same thing. If you want to put your cell phone number in there and not worry about you know, having your own business line, you can certainly do that too. Let's go to industry type. So there are different ones here. Agriculture, construction, finance, real estate, insurance, manufacturing, nonprofit, retail trade, wholesale trade. The industry type there off that. Company structure, we're going to put sole proprietorship. There we go. Years in business. Let's do that. So just put your years in business. Pretty simple. Number of employees, just put one. Uh, put that as yourself if you're applying for this and she's going to do that as well. Annual business revenue, we can put that in. 
uh, estimated monthly spend, we've got that. Role in the company, you can be the owner, partner. Uh, in this case, we're gonna be a sole prop, so she is gonna be the owner. All right, let's move on. Now, enter personal information. We put her first and last name in, name on the card, and you can click my home address is the same as my business address. That way you don't have to type it in again. And we're gonna keep going here. Social security number, I can't put that in there for you guys to see. But we're whipping through this thing. We're going fast, all right? Date of birth, same thing. Total annual income, we'll keep going there. And that's household income, so make sure you include um, your partner spouse there for total annual income. Non-taxable income, so just think about that. If any of your income is non-taxable, make sure that's noted. And we're rolling. We're gonna keep going, terms and conditions, submit application, we're done already. That's pretty simple, right? So let's submit the application. Fingers crossed. Let's see what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen. We're getting the spinny wheel. This always makes me a little bit nervous when I see the spinny wheel, especially if it goes too long. It makes me a little nervous. What's gonna happen? Whew, come on, spinny wheel, come on, spinny wheel. Take a deep breath, Brandon, fingers crossed. Good thoughts are coming, the wheel's still spinning. Thank you, Kayla Boyd, your application has been received. Now this is a good sign when it asks about adding employee cards. That's a good sign that you've been approved, okay? So let's keep going here. We don't need to do that right now. So I'm gonna click not now on this next page. And it looks like we're getting the spinny wheel again. But like I said, when you see the employee cards page, it's a really good sign because you've seen pages we've had on here before where it says we need more time to process your application. We didn't get that in this case. All right, here we go, this is good. Thank you, we've received your information. Approved, Kayla Boyd, look at that. It says you will receive your new card by mail in your home address provided uh, by Monday, August the 22nd. I really like this other option here too. They give you the option to get your card number right now if you wanna do that. So you can go ahead and add it to your digital wallet. You can go ahead and shop online if you wanna do that. Pretty convenient. I say we just go ahead and get that number too. So let's do that. Now I'm obviously gonna block out the card number, but I want you to see what this looks like, okay? So here we go. In order to continue, please verify your identity. This helps protect your account. So it gives you the option to either do a security pin or a one-time passcode. So let's do the security pin here. And see if we can get that. Please review and agree to the consent. Okay, we're gonna agree. I agree, sure. Please review the cardholder agreement. Sure, 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 we don't need that, agree. And it still gives you that. Okay, there we go. So it's gonna give you your card number, it's gonna give you your expiration date, and it's also gonna give you your temporary CID as well. So you can use that, you can go ahead and shop if you wanna do that, go ahead and make purchases if you wanna do that. And here are all the card details. And it tells you you've got just a few minutes here to get all those card details just for security's sake. It doesn't wanna keep it up on the screen at all times for people to walk by and see it. So this is good, I really like this option, and I would recommend taking advantage of it. If you're getting this card to buy something you know, for the next day or two, go ahead and get the card number because you'll get the card in the mail within a matter of days. Hopefully this video helps you out to see what a business card application looks like, and it shouldn't be that intimidating of a process. Yes, they ask you a few questions that are a little different compared to a personal card, but for all intents and purposes, it's still a card application, so don't be intimidated by that process. If you have more questions about business cards, check out my video down in the description below where I have a long form discussion with the Travel On Points Facebook group creator, Derek Dye. We run through a lot of the frequently asked questions in regards to business cards. So hopefully that video will help you out as well. Make sure you check that one out down there. And while you're down in the description, make sure you check out the referral link for the American Express Business Gold Card or any card for that matter. That referral link is where you can find all the latest card offers and you'll be able to apply through that referral link that greatly helps support the channel. But let me know what you think about the American Express Business gold card if you have it yourself. Do you find it to be a useful card? Do you keep it longer than a year or two? Are you just getting it for the sign-up offer and then canceling? I'm curious to hear what you have to say. Leave those comments down below because we do have a lot of new people in Points and Miles that are trying to learn and understand and anything that you can leave down there is certainly going to help out. We really appreciate all of you doing that so far. The conversations have been great and I think it's helping out a lot of people. If you found this video helpful or mildly entertaining, don't forget to be awesome. Give me a big thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifications for alerts. And when you click on the Brandon Boyd Show, click, click, click. You're going to get the latest information on credit cards, points and miles, travel, money, finance, and everything in between. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. We'll see you soon.